Hey, it's Prodigy. Hey, what's up? It's your Shirley Princeton. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Ray Ray. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Rock Royal. We are Mindless Behavior. In the tradition of the Jackson 5, New Edition, and B2K, this group quickly became a modern musical phenomenon with an army of screaming fans following them everywhere. The boys won them over with their futuristic fashion style, epic dance moves, and global-ready pop songs. Then, their lead singer left, and naturally, things were never the same. Let's find out what happened to R&B hip-hop group Mindless Behavior. Mindless is like our movement that we came up with. Like, yeah. it, like you have confidence, mm -hmm. like you're mindless. And if you like being yourself and you're not afraid to stand out, yes. and you just want to show the world your talent, then you're mindless. Mm -hmm. Or if like, you see a pretty girl, <laughs> she's mindless. <laughs> just like being yourself and being confident. Mm -hmm. yep. And if you get your grades in school, you're definitely mindless. Mindless Behavior was put together in 2008 by Interscope Records manager Keisha Gamble, Conjunction Entertainment CEO Walter Millsap, and Streamline Records head Vincent Herbert when the members were just preteens. Walter approached Vincent with the idea of forming a kid singing group. Keisha and Walter then embarked on an extensive auditioning process, seeing hundreds of children. Los Angeles-born singer Jacob Princeton Perez and rapper Crisanto Rock Royal August met at an audition and both were chosen. A few months later, the group's choreographer found lead singer, Philadelphia-born Craig Prodigy Crippen Jr. on YouTube. Another LA resident and rapper, Rayon Ray Ray Lopez, was the last to join the group. They were then signed to Streamline Records, operating under Interscope. The boys trained and honed their skills during eight-hour rehearsal days for three years. They did it all. Vocal lessons, media training, and choreography, all while being homeschooled. They even got the opportunity to tour with the likes of Backstreet Boys, Justin Bieber, and Jason Derulo. Pop icon Janet Jackson even handpicked them to join her on her number ones up close and personal tour. In August 2010, their debut single called My Girl dropped. It didn't touch the Billboard Hot 100, but it did make it into the top 40 on the R&B hip hop songs chart. Their second single called Mrs. Right was released in June 2011 and did far better than their debut, getting on the Hot 100 and rising all the way to number 8 on the R&B chart. It also landed at the number 1 position on BET's 106 and Park three weeks in a row. Their popularity was growing so fast that even their meet and greets were getting out of hand. Thousands of girls were lining up for hours in advance. One in-store appearance even had to be shut down because thousands of fans swarmed the mall. It seemed now was the perfect time to drop the album, so they did. Their debut album titled Number One Girl was released two months later. It debuted on the Billboard 200 album chart at the number seven position. The following year, they embarked on a tour to promote the album with fellow teen rising stars Jacob Lattimore, Lil Twist, and Kayla Brianna. They kept the momentum going big time in 2013 with a triple release. First, their follow-up album titled All Around the World in March. Then, a feature film documentary called Mindless Behavior All Around the World released in the same week as the album. This is something that we love and something that we live for. The fans definitely keep me motivated. I feel that God put me in the right place to be. Inspiring other people is a great feeling. The movie gives viewers an inside look at how the group got started, and it leads up to the BET Awards. The final release was the announcement of the All Around the World Tour starting in July. Then, things quickly fell apart. 
Just eight months later, it was announced that lead singer Prodigy had left the group to pursue a solo career. This was not true. He did leave, however, many years would pass before he would finally tell the story about what really happened. We'll get into that a little later. By the spring of 2014, Detroit native Elijah Johnson, going by the stage name EJ, would replace Prodigy as the group's new lead singer. However, more changes would come before the year's end. Rock Royal was fired from mindless behavior due to his ill-mannered behavior. His many transgressions included beating up a drug addict who owed him money and accusations of him stealing a producer's BMW. He also became a father at the age of 16. He would end up getting slapped with a two-year prison sentence for battery and robbery two years later. Just prior to that, though, he was able to make his solo debut with the song Amazing that was released in June 2015. At this time, Prodigy was asked to return to the group to replace him. Six months later, he was gone again when Rock Royal's real replacement, Atlanta-based singer-songwriter Mike River, joined the group. Three months after that, yep, it happened again. Another member decided to leave. This time, it was Ray Ray. The decision was precipitated by a horrible car accident where the vehicle he was driving flipped over. He was extremely lucky to escape with his life. Prior to the accident, he already wasn't feeling the group dynamic for some time, and he felt that now was the perfect opportunity to separate himself. So he left, forcing EJ, Mike, and last original member, Princeton, to carry on as a trio. In the summer of 2016, their third album titled Official MB Music dropped. Snippets from their original third album titled Recharge were shown on the group's Facebook and Instagram, but the decision was made not to release it and go back to the drawing board. Even with a drastically different lineup, fans responded positively and helped the new album capture the number four spot on the R&B albums chart. It was a small consolation since at the beginning of the next year, Mindless Behavior officially disbanded. Mike dropped his first solo single and accompanying music video for the song Take Me Back in March 2018. Princeton followed with his solo debut called Perfect World in the summer of 2019. One month later, his debut EP titled Papi Chulo Prelude would be released. After about a four-year hiatus from the public and social media, Ray Ray, now going by Rayon, kicked off the start of the new decade with a bang. His solo debut single called Right Now dropped in January, followed by a couple more singles within the first quarter. In an interview with AllHipHop.com in February 2020, he revealed that he left the group due to bad management. He also revealed what he likes the most about being a solo artist, which is not having to worry about three other individuals possibly ruining his career. He's also flexed his acting skills in the Urban Flicks TV miniseries, Howard High. Fans must surely be happy to see him busy at work instead of using his time to take more eggplant pics like the ones leaked back in 2017. Now, let's get back to Prodigy and the real reason why he left Mindless Behavior. He laid it all out in a 2019 Instagram Live video. I didn't leave the group to pursue a solo career. What happened was I was, it, I was getting treated bad in the, in the camp, you know. I was being called names. Uh, I was being called sociopath. And at once, you know, at one point they tried to turn the guys against me. And, um, you know, I just couldn't take it no more. I started getting depressed. And then y'all wonder why I never really talked in interviews. I, was, I wasn't enjoying my career. He's also mentioned in interviews that he felt that he was used when asked to come back after Rock Royal left just to make the group a foursome again so the show could go on and continue making money. In March 2020, he released his latest work, 
a single called Like I Always Do. After the breakup, EJ announced that he was working on his own solo projects and talked about dropping some music in the spring of 2018. So far, it looks like that hasn't happened yet. He's somewhat active on social media now after taking a long break and says he's been in therapy, trying to find peace within himself and trying to stop the need to be perfect all the time. Rock Royal, who now goes by Santo August, is currently incarcerated again. He was actually released early for good behavior from his previous two-year stint in 2017, just long enough to make another baby with his longtime girlfriend and apparently get into more trouble that landed him back behind bars. As far as the possibility of a reunion is concerned, it's highly unlikely that will ever happen. It's unclear when Santo will be released from prison, but according to Rayon, he still has some years to go. Also, in an August 2020 interview with podcast Get Straight To It, Rayon was happy to talk about the respect and ongoing friendship he has with Prodigy, but boldly proclaimed his dislike for Princeton. Things on his end that was being said about me that were getting back to me from like secure people mm-hmm. that like if they said it, okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or just run into people that are like, oh, he did this, he's done that, he said this, he said that. I don't do the he say, she say, you know what I mean? But also, you all have to understand that I've been in a group with this kid for five years. Yeah. I know how he maneuver, I know how he works sentences. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the text, I've seen everything. He also felt some type of way when I just left. He kind of felt abandoned. But it's just like, you gotta understand my well-being is more important than anything mm-hmm. else. You know, I'm not afraid. about to keep being someone's puppet and being mm-hmm. robbed for fun. No, no, it's not happening. You gotta know understand when someone's a glitch yes. in your life, you eliminate them. The best thing you can do is declutter somebody. Yes. Just eliminate, take them away. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's what, that's what I had to do. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.